While moisture was hard to come by during the summer, we're seeing more of it this winter. Meteorologist Scott Munn takes a look at just how much water we've seen this winter. It's been a wet winter in Keveland, so much so that we are eyeing the record books. Another round of precipitation moved through Keveland today. It came in the form of rain, freezing rain, and snow. Not including Monday's precipitation, we're already in the top 10 wettest winters for Sioux Falls. Now keep in mind the winter months are December through February. This winter is now the seventh wettest winter on record. To get to the top five, we'll need about three quarters of an inch. And for the top spot, we need a little more than three inches from here to the end of February to beat out the winter of 68 69. I'd like to mention that Huron is about a quarter inch away from entering their top 20, while Pier needs about a third of an inch to enter Pier's top 20. And again, these records do not reflect the precipitation that fell today. And there's another round of precipitation on the way for midweek, as it looks like this wet trend will continue. For Kettle Land Weather, I'm meteorologist Scott Munt.